This week we are continuing our foundational knowledge about geographic information systems. We'll get a little bit more technical this week as we start to dive into some of the key terms and concepts that are going to help us navigate the rest of the course. Uh, we'll start by talking about different data models. Now, data models are how we represent the Earth's surface in a digital format. Um, they're always a simplification of what the Earth actually looks like, and we'll take some, um, uh, or you'll get a chance to look at the differences between them and see some of the positives and negatives associated with two different data, data model types. In terms of the rest of this uh, lecture, you will get into, like I mentioned, some of the key terms and concepts and really specific things that have to do with GIS. A lot of these terms we will use over and over this semester, so it's a good opportunity to really take some time, think about them, um, and start to incorporate them as you talk about your uh, projects and your exercises. We'll start with the overlay concept. That's one of the key foundations of GIS, that idea that we can take two different sets of data, set one on top of that, the other, and start to solve problems, make decisions, and get information from that. So we could get a layer of floodplains, and we could get a layer of um, residential houses and see uh, where people are living in a floodplain, making sure they have access to um, flood insurance or buying flood insurance. Or if you're purchasing a house, if you're close to um, a floodplain or close to, um, maybe more relevant for us here in Southern California, close to um, uh, areas that are uh, predictable to burn during wildfire season, that you're taking those precautions to protect your property um, um, have insurance, things like that. So that idea that we can put two sets of data together, look at them simultaneously, interact with them, um, is a really important historic part of GIS. You'll also learn a lot of terms that have to do with your data. Um, so not necessarily how to manipulate it yet, but how to understand your data, judge how good quality uh, of data you have, and um, some of the things you can learn about your data. So take some time this week with the, the lectures and the key terms and the resources in the um, lecture and in Canvas to really understand these concepts. It'll give you a good foundation as we move forward.